Hello. Uh, this video will be out on Saturday. Saturday. It's not Saturday right now. It is Thursday right now. I uh, we're doing this video because I'm watching the RNC and I have some time between now and when Trump speaks. Some people are saying it's future President Donald Trump, former and future. Wow, what a weird thing. It, like one of those stories where they do a flashback or a, uh, or 20 years in the future and they do a was it that was going flashbacks is it a flash forward i don't know don't forget to subscribe though i do know that um but um yeah so that's going on right now cnn did say the future president will be speaking <laughs> not the um likely winner of the election she did say future um president saw the clip again i guess people are talking about the fact that cnn is now or that person is now reporting that Trump's gonna win. I don't know. But anyway, it's coming on. His speech is gonna be about mm, 37 minutes. I'm sure they'll do some fanfare between. I don't know if his, his attorney's on right now. Aliana Haba. How do you say her name? She is a Arab American woman, a girl from the New Jersey gal. A Jersey gal, she said. Um, maybe she's from the Jersey Shore. Who knows? Maybe she's that snooky lady. I'm not sure. But anyway, what is going on right now is that's gonna be going on. So I'll probably go ahead and watch that that'll probably end i think in the convention who who is it that introduces trump is it it's his wife is it his wife vp is it the um ch chairman of the convention i don't know who I, I i can't remember who did it last time and will it be the same as this time they're saying that the speech he's going to do is brand new because he wrote himself after being shot so if he wrote right after being shot it might have been a little groggy i'm sure they gave him some kind of painkiller that that had to hurt uh, maybe they gave him something for pain maybe they gave him something for you know to stop the bleeding maybe they gave him an iv precautionary who knows um i'm not sure exactly what happened with that but um yeah that could happen so anyway this question came up and i i was going to just do a part by q a but the person who asked the question said that they're afraid to post it as a question um like in the comment section because they're afraid to be bullied so you know i'm i guess i'm gonna have to go and purge the trolls so if people are bullying you please let me know if if, if they if they like if it says David Gardner on my channel, they can find my Facebook by the fact that I, that's me. They can probably even do facial recognition software to find me. So if you are being bullied, if anyone ever bullies, let me know. I'll give them a warning and tell them to do it again. I'll take them off unless it's something really serious. And if you save it, if you get a screenshot, that'd be great. But I don't want my channel to be a place where people think they might be bullied for asking a question. That's what the channel is all about. David lost 108 pounds. Now it's probably about 130. I did put a little bit back on it. I might be back to 100. 20 I man i could have put on 10 pounds because like jess i'm not allowed to exercise and that's how i did it i didn't do it from diet alone a lot of people think you lose weight by going on a diet you lose weight by taking some medication you lose weight by getting a, a, a surgery a you know, lap band or or one of those where they saw off some chub and they whatever they take a vacuum and they, and they suck out you know whatever it's kind of gross but they, they they cut away or suck out fat from your body or something's all Take your tum tum and they'll they'll cut your tummy and make a smaller tummy so it can't hold so much food. That's really extreme. It's kind of sad that we have to go to that. But there's a bariatric, bariatric where it's called. I don't know. One, um, I think one of the guys from KFI had that. They were talking about that. But I don't want my channel to be a place where you feel bullied to ask a question, especially if it has to do with your diet, your health, your exercise, talking to a doctor, or perhaps a medication. Someone might have told you, "Hey, take this dietary aid." And maybe I've done some research on it. Maybe I say, no, yeah, I, I wouldn't take that one. A lot of people ask, what should we do about this? People mail me stuff. So everybody's very involved. So I don't want you to feel, at all, ever, do I want you to feel threatened or uh, they're not going to come over and, you know, throw a brick through your window. But uh, trolls will troll. You know, I get trolled a lot. I, still, I saved a whole bunch. Um, uh, and those people don't write anymore. <laughs> they used to call me racist and uh, that I love rapists and I and I, I, my orange man. They don't really say that anymore because I think they're on the same. When I was saying Trump's going to win, now they're saying Trump is going to win. Do they apologize? Hey, David, sorry that I was um, I was just too emotionally disturbed and, or mo emotionally, whatever you want to say, excitable <laughs> that I was saying bad things about you because you said Trump was going to win. I do agree Trump is going to win. So now they're on the same same page. But let me just get to the question. Her question was, um, uh, and it was a lady uh, and her husband and their son son or daughter well, they have a teen a kid that's in there i guess uh 25 years old the child the child and they of course is it too old to start well i started this how old was i uh 40 
about 40. I think I think I started about 40. It's, it, they think it's easier for a man to start when he's older than it is for a woman to start when she's older. And a lot of time women are are, are, are removed. You know, women that had a really good run hit a certain age, and they say they just that's it for them. Where men might can go a little bit further. Uh, I guess that's yeah, you know, just because that that's the way the world runs. And I guess maybe men run Hollywood. I don't know, but men they don't want to woo 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 hubba hubba. And if you put on a little weight or if, a lot of people say, well, that singer doesn't look like they used to look. I'm not going to listen to them. Well, you, you listen to them sing, not look at them, you know, the album cover, if there's such a thing anymore. Uh, it seems like it's not okay for women to look any different. Men do have things with their voice. A lot of times they'll say, like, uh, John Cougar Melonhead and somebody else was a John Bon Jovi. Their voices didn't sound. And people asked for their money back, and they booed because they couldn't sing. Well, we get older. Yeah, we get older. But their question was dealing with... Um, uh, casting agents. You'll, sometimes you'll see CSA, which is I think it's for Casting Society of America. You'll see like David Gardner CSA, meaning I'm a, I'm, I'm a, a union member that uh, that casts this. I belong to their union, their club, their whatever it is. But what happened was they said, well, sometimes it seems like you're perfect for a role, and you just don't get it. Well, what gives? Well, let's just say for me, for example. Let's say I read a breakdown. That's what they call the breakdowns. They call them breakdowns. Uh, casting notices are called breakdowns. And it breaks down the part. And they take apart the script. And they take apart you know, this. And they create sides. So you can, they see if you can sound like this person. Or, or do whatever they, they think that person should. If it's, if it's not a real person. If they say, well, go out there and try to sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you probably have a squeaky voice. If they say, try to sound like Mr. Jones, the fictional character that... Uh, won the shuffleboard competition at the senior center. He has a different voice, so it, it's just the way it goes. But let's say I read one. Looking for a man, Caucasian, sixty-two, balding, who owns a classic car, who is a pet rescue volunteer, who has a metal detector, who knows guns, can teach guns, has held guns, he's a gun handler, every single thing. And I read that, I go, wow, that's the definition of who I am. I put in for it, I don't get it. How can I not get that? And sometimes if it's a big enough production, you'll actually see the person they picked. And you might say, oh, they did a really good job in that, but they don't match the description. Maybe they are Hispanic. Maybe they're 66. You know, maybe they don't own a classic car, but they said they'll they rent one to be on this movie. Maybe they don't even know what it, they think a middle taker is that wand that they, they go, well, I guess when you go to an amusement park or a nightclub, boop, 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 boop. They don't even know that they mean, it must be a beachcomber. And, then, and you just don't get it. You just don't know. A lot of people think that the Saza, the casting director, doesn't send your stuff in. That's possible. Now, that's possible. Let's say the casting director has a friend, and that friend is Hispanic and 66 years old. And she or he owns it. Loves him. It's a she. She may not say she owes him a favor. And she puts his work. Because I couldn't find the Caucasian man, 62 years old, Caucasian, balding, classic car, pet rescue, metal detector, gun guy. I couldn't find him. But here's a guy. Now, he used to go to the firing range and shoot 22 rifles with his dad when he was a boy. And he's 66 and he's Hispanic. Oh, what kind of classic car does he own? Oh, yeah, he said whatever one you want him to have, he has access to a whole bunch. Oh, okay. And they book him. Now, that could happen. Could happen. But they're not, a lot of times I don't know if they would risk that because they want them to find what they want them to find. If a producer says this guy looks like this and you send someone that doesn't look like that or this, one, and this person looks like that, has these skills, and they don't have these skills, why didn't you find that person? You know, you had... You had three weeks to find that person to, to bring them, bring me a few examples of what I'm looking for. You had three weeks. You had four weeks. You had a, you had a month. You had two months or whatever. Uh, it, or even got pushed. You know, we, we gave you a month and a half and it got pushed and you had another three months. You had like almost five months to find me this person. And you, the closest you can get to me was a guy that's too old, wrong, wrong, uh, wrong ethnicity, uh, doesn't have any of the things I, I wanted him to have. He, you know, I'll bring him in, we'll look at him. So I don't know if they would really risk that. Maybe they would. But they said, do I argue with them? I said, oh, absolutely not. But if you argue with them, you'll never get booked with them again. Those, um, you know, David's a nice guy, but man, he started arguing with them this last time. 
you know, uh, if they told you, they, I was like, oh, boo, well, maybe the next one, please keep making it. If anything else opens up on this film, please let me know. If anything on another one of your projects, please let me know. I'd love to come on an audition for you or be picked for something. Uh, or if, I might say, if it's, it, 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 you know, if I didn't get that, is there anything else I can do in the film? So maybe that's a principal role and I, I'll take a day player a role or a supporting role, a lower level role, it's less money, it's, but they still have to fill those roles as well. Sometimes they work at the very top and find those people, or they'll have one person, that's, one person is get, you know, doing only the leads and one person only is doing the support and then someone else is doing like a, like the day players maybe and background and they have more than one person. But what this person came in contact with is her son or daughter's 25 years old and they got a thing for 18 to look younger. Now 18 to look younger is you're not supposed to be eight. You're not supposed to be 13. You're supposed to be 18, but look like you're 13. But 18 to look younger doesn't mean you have to be 18. It really, really what they mean to say is, can you play a 13 year old boy? Can you play a 13 year old girl? Can you, are you believable as that? But there's really no way to say all of that in a little blurb. So they'll put 18 to look younger. You'll even say 18, the letter T, <laughs> the the L, the Y, whatever, you know, uh, it was two T's, it's T-T, so it's two, no, two look younger. I don't know, it's no T-L, T-L-Y, maybe. But they called him and he, and he said, well, I, I'm 25, I don't think I can do that. No, they said, is that a dumb question to ask? Should he have said, oh, yes, I would. It's not a dumb question, but it's not going to be very effective if you if you do that. If they say, hey, Johnny, or hey, Marilyn, or whatever your name is, Connie, <laughs> Fred, whatever, we think you look like this man who is 16 years old, this person, male, he's 16 years old, he rides a bicycle, and he likes to uh, play Dungeons and Dragons. And they say to him that he says this, wonderful what's the next step you know um, you listen to everything they say don't interrupt them let them tell you the whole story you know uh, he, he was in the boy scouts he did oh wow wonderful i might even say wow wonderful that, that sounds a lot like me what's the next step but i say something to the to, to that kind of a uh uh except like, no it's not a dumb question it's not a dumb question that they were going to ask they were going to ask should they should he have not done that and they, yeah he should not have done that it's not a dumb question it's an ineffective thing to say. So if they told me, David, there's a guy, a lot of times they'll say, <clears throat> they'll, they'll put me in for something and I'll read that the character is African-American character. So if they write me and say, David, we got some open says, oh, I saw the one for African-American. Now, I don't know, is he, is he a real person? If he's a real person and he has real African-American children, he's probably African-American. But is he just written into the story as African-American? Could he be Caucasian-American? And then they make the lady who is the principal at the school she was supposed to be white can they change her to black if they have some kind of like not quota but something they want to do to show diversity i don't know but anyway no it's not a dumb question i'll try to get rid of if, if you're being bullied let me know i'll try to purge some of the trolls maybe let's go through there and if you're a troll i'm gonna get rid of you um just you know block you or get, you know, get or at least remove your comments but so no i do have some most of the trolls are against me some trolls have been against others but um yes yeah, so if they're bothering you let me know right there so when it comes to acting if they call you and say can you play this david you really look like you know a blender you look just like a blender and we want to look like a guy there's been one we want someone that looks like danny devito we want someone that looks like homer simpson homer simpson's not even a real person but they want someone to look like them. and they found him it was after georgia rule they found the guy who looked just like homer simpson <laughs> uh nice guy um and and all that but um if they ask you can you handle lines uh, you know uh, a lot of times when it when a certain amount of time I say david do you have this oh when are you gonna like do you have a purple shirt with a yellow collar um oh when when, when is that film oh they, well, about it, 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 i think this is, i think they said four weeks from now oh yeah sure i do have that because if i can't find it at walmart thrift store sears if there's a sears left jc penny whatever i can have it made if the money's good I'll go have it made. I'll have a shirt made. You just go and look at the tailors in the in the yellow pages. 
right? If there's, if there's the yellow pages, I just Google who makes, is there a shirt maker around here that, that can make one shirt? And sometimes what they'll do is they'll make one and they'll take photos of you and everything and they'll, they'll actually give you a better price because they'll use that as kind of a, a, a sample that they don't have anymore. A lot of the samples are all on hangers and they have, the, you see the, in New York, they're all running down in the garment district or whatever, one of these big racks of clothing. I was always wondering why someone else grab one if they're worth the money. Um, but maybe they do. They probably do nowadays. But uh, yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll get it made. So if they give me enough time, I'll do it. If they say, David, can you speak fluent Mandarin? Oh, when do you need it? <laughs> In two weeks. Then I have to say, no, I cannot. I can learn some Mandarin. I'll get Babel or, or Rosetta Stone or go take a, class, a night class for a couple of weeks and try to at least get the basics. Learn it online. Go to YouTube. and Can I, can I learn basic Mandarin? And maybe I can learn 15 words, 20 words. Where If they say something like, hello, and I can say hello back or... Or I can shake my head up and, and be in agreement and say whatever it is in Mandarin. Oh, wow, I do agree with you on that. A little teeny, where they talk a lot, we say a little, and that. But don't, I don't know, I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> I would not tell them I can't do it if it's something I can either learn, buy, borrow, find, rent. I would say yes. If I'd ask when is, if they say to me, like David, tomorrow, can you, uh, Bring in your uh, street sweeper that you use, uh, and all the cars will be moved off of this side of the road to that side of the road. So you go this way, and then the next day, all the cars that way. So you can go this way. Then I have to say, No, I, I don't have that. But if they tell me, you got a month, <laughs> I'll get it. Uh, it's probably a class B driver's license type of situation, uh, or maybe just a class C. I would find a small enough one that I could operate. I said, This is one I, I, I operate. You know, a forklift, you know, I'm a forklift driver, but if I wasn't at this class, you can learn how to drive a forklift. If the money is really big, now you'd have to make sure you're really going to get it. Uh, I might have to say some more, you know, uh, you know if, if, I, if, if I spend some time uh, honing my skills, I won't say I have none, honing my skills or getting my forklift ready or my whatever, my hockey puck, my hockey puck or my hockey stick and I whack it around on the ice, I can't skate, that would be a lot of trouble. But I have to know I'm going to get it. I mean, there'll be some expense in preparing for this role. And... And they, once they tell me yes, and I sign the contract, then I got three weeks to, you know, learn how to do whatever on there. So yeah, no, it's not a dumb question. You can replace ignorance with knowledge. Ding! And now you know. Yes. So do that. Uh, I would say yes. Uh, don't, don't, don't. And also audition. If you don't go to the audition, you decide that you don't get the role. A lot of people see them. Man, this role is too big. I'll never get this. And that happens. There's been times where I've gone and I, and I know, you know, I memorized it. I got it all down. And then afterwards, I'll say, you know what? This is a really, really big part. Uh, I'd love to do it. If you want to give me the opportunity, boy, I sure would love to do that. You know, um, I hope you can use me. If you can't use me for this role, please consider me for another. If it was, well, you just kind of shot yourself in the foot, didn't you? Sort of. But I know they're not going to give me that role. So I have to let them know that I'm willing to do something else. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. This will be out on Saturday. So, um, Maybe you'll watch RNC. It's Thursday right now. I just got so many videos right now. I just figured I can only get it. I, I had to make the thumbnail, go through the SEO, make the yeah, chapters and all that. Take care, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe.